What's up, guys? It's your boy, K-Mass. All right, I'm back again with another video from Nuke's Top 5. This one is called Five Scary Ghosts, Five Scary Videos of Ghosts Caught on Camera. All right, guys, let's get into the video. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera, The Hitchhiker. This next video was sent in by a Nukes Top 5 viewer from Malaysia. It starts with a driver cruising down a long and desolate road. Okay. Alright. Let's watch that again. Some sort of bizarre misty half-man seems to appear in the middle of the road. Alright, from what I'm seeing, it looks... I've, I've seen that have this stuff happen to me on scary roads. Uh, I was on a country road once before, and there was a guy sitting on the guardrail. Me and somebody else was driving in another car, and this guy was sitting on guardrail, and it looks like their legs were stretched way out the middle of the road. They were wearing all black and face painted up white. Kind of reminded me of Brandon Lee's The Crow. So this stuff, yeah, it, it startles you when you're driving down the road and don't see it happening. Now, this video here, Old. the fact... His arm is outstretched, almost as if hitchhiking. Is this a ghost caught on camera or just a trick of the light? You decide. All right, guys. The fact that uh, that video, there was no talking before the video or none of that uh, extra evidence going on or extra, you know, people acting all extra in the car, screaming, acting stupid, um, kind of makes it a little bit more believable that it happened. Now, as far as it being a ghost, I, there's no, I don't think so. I think it may have just been somebody walking down the country road that maybe their car broke down somewhere and they're hitchhiking, trying to get home. All right, guys, before we get into the next video, I want you guys to go down into the comments, click on the pinned comment, and download and install TubeBuddy. Also, don't forget, thumbs up this video. That will help out a lot. And subscribe, click that bell notification. All right, let's get into this next one. Hiding under the covers. I featured the YouTube channel The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine a couple of times before, and for good reason. I've heard about this. I'm going to have to go uh, subscribe to this dude's channel and watch a few more videos because I've heard people talk about it. I've never really seen the videos. I may have seen a couple of clips here and there watching nukes and chills and all of them, but let's watch this. Channel host Kent Burris posts frequent paranormal investigations, including explorations of his own haunted home and a ghostly presence that he refers to as, quote, Shadow Dude. Hmm. Shadow Dude. Hello? Are you talking? Hear nothing. I, well, I heard a little bit, but I hear a clicking. The hell is that noise? Son of a bitch! All right, guys. I don't scare easy, but jump scares. They startled me. Although, me personally, yeah, if this was me in person, I would have jumped back downstairs for a second and then went straight back into the room with something in my hands. It looked like a little girl. Now, This video from all the clips that he shows seems like the guy catches a lot of evidence. And I've heard Maine is a very haunted place. After all, Stephen King has most of his movies based out of Maine. Uh, supposedly, 
because it's a uh, paranormal hotspot, and that might be why a lot of his stuff is based there. So, yeah, this guy got me. If this is not real, this dude is really good at jump scares. Same clip again. Oh no, it ain't. Hello? Noise. Now, when watching this video, two Nuke's top five viewers even caught one creepy incident that even Kent didn't notice. Okay, I'm uploading this, but for some reason I'm hearing noises again. Like Did you see it? Just watch the bed covers. Something almost looks like you know when an animal gets under your bed, like a snake. Kind of looks like a snake under his bed right there. That that alone would be creepy. Just like pull your cover back and there's a big ass snake crawling under your bed. Thing seems to be moving around under the blanket, but Kent doesn't even seem to notice or curse the darkness. This next video is from Saudi Arabian ghost hunter Adventure Allah. In this, this clip, guy. Allah's in- I've heard of this guy before. Uh, I think I've seen this clip before and I like it. Investigating a house that is said to have been cursed by an angry neighbor. <laughs> Gotta give it to him, man. He, uh, if he's faking it. He's doing a better, believable job of it and not running out of the house. Now, if he's not faking it, this dude is brave. His reactions are genuine, but... And for anybody says... For me, when I say it's not, I don't believe it's real. This is my opinion. Now, I don't know and I don't think this is real because of the amount of stuff that is going on so far. What the fuck? Where are they hot at? They're there. Tell them why I did that. I, I kind of leaned forward to see if I could see under the table. Who else does that? If you, as a kid, have always, you know, looked, see somebody in a movie going around the corner, you just kind of lean to the side and look like you're trying to look around the corner yourself, tell me in the comments if you have done that in your life. I catch myself still doing that shit. It's been long. It's been long. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this video before. That laugh it gets me every time, man. Uh, the scream. That's why I think this video is genuine from his perspective. I maybe somebody's fucking with him. I don't know. But if he's faking it. Damn, this dude is fucking good. His 
he but he is not running from it okay I take that back he just he is running now uh but dude got a chair thrown at him and a bucket thrown in the room if it's real a real poltergeist and with it being in Saudi Arabia I'm not going to go investigate <clears throat> I, I'll tell you that right now I'll I will say, no, I'm not going to investigate because I'm not going to Saudi Arabia. I'm not traveling out of the country to go do an investigation. Mad props to you, dude. If you're faking this and you fell over a fucking chair for a video on some rubble, dude, you're making this more believable than any of the ones here in the U.S. Yeah, that's a question. See, that's a question I have to ask. Why are there bottles of water up in the ceiling? Maybe somebody's in the ceiling and that's who's fucking with him. in the end it all becomes too much and Allah decides to just make a run for it all right guys this video I can't 100% say it's real because that's a lot of activity. But, but with that being said, his reactions were fucking genuine. His reactions were great. The screams were funny as fuck. Well, to me anyways. And the fact that he fell over a chair. If he faked it, he fell over fucking something in rubble in an abandoned house for a video for YouTubers. Give him a thumbs up for that shit. Allah al Azim, ma arast kif rjaat al bed qasam bilah berdiya fi jismi kulla. Inna jismi kulla qasam bilah yidik dik. So is this a cursed and violently haunted house, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. A visit from Grandma. James. All right. So number five was uh, the hitchhiker. Number. Five Four was Ghost of Carmel, Maine. Uh, three was, um, three was the um, dude the in Saudi Arabia. This one here is number two. Any Primax I'm trying to remember these so I can uh, give my reactions to them at the end of the video. Sullivan hosts a popular daily vlog on Facebook called Coffee Talk, where she discusses her life, gives advice, and interacts with her daily viewers. The vlog has nothing to do with the supernatural in any way. So, one night Jamie posts a random update along with her daughter Charlie. Would you guys subscribe to a channel if I did stuff like that? Did a vlog about my daily life? 
uh, being a security officer at a casino or, um, I mean, yes, I'm going to do paranormal stuff, but would you guys subscribe to my vlogs? Leave a comment in the section, in the comment section. Let me know what you think. When the subject of Janie's deceased grandmother comes up, things get a bit spooky. Do you remember my grandma? <laughs> Where is my grandma? Where is she? Up in heaven. What did she do to make her go up in heaven? Did she do a smoker? No, she didn't do a smoker. What? She, she was just very old. She was almost 93, and her body just got very tired. She was too old. Was she old? Did you get my almost couldn't walk? She was old. She could walk, but she was old. Okay. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. What? Your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. Now, keep in mind that... Okay. My reactions on this. Here, I'll let... I'll let... Luke's finish out. Jamie's this. grandmother called her by the nickname Jamila when she was just a child. Her daughter Charlie has no way of knowing this. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. So, was little Charlie communicating with the spirit of her great grandma? Let me know what you think. Okay, my react my thoughts on this part right here. Um little Charlie is reading something off the screen. Cause she looking dead at the screen. Reading it, uh, it looks like she's reading something. And the reaction from her mother is just fake. It's so fake. Uh, okay, Lady doesn't do paranormal stuff. But maybe she sees uh, there's all kinds of ghost stuff getting a lot of attention. And my vlog has decreased in watch time. So let me do something to boost that watch time. This is fake. Silent Witness Students and teachers at a high school in Manila, Philippines have experienced many strange occurrences. Some even claim to have seen ghosts at the school. Well, no one believed the stories until a video from the school's graduation ceremony surfaced and quickly became viral. As the graduates gather, the ghostly figure of a girl seems to peer down at them from the roof of the school. The attendees say that they saw nothing unusual at the event. The figure on the roof, which is referred to as the White Lady Ghost, was only spotted when the graduation video was made public. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, uh, White Lady Ghost, I don't believe that one. Uh, they say nobody's seen it, but it's too, uh, stereotypical. So, number one, I don't believe. All right, let's go over these videos. All right, number five, The Hitchhiker. That, I believe, is a genuine video, but it might, I don't think it's ghost or paranormal. It's probably somebody hitchhiking. Number four, The Ghost of Carl, Ma Carl Maine. That I honestly I don't think I believe that one too much. Although I gotta give it to the dude, the jump scare got me. The um the stuff he put in his videos. If he's if if he is faking it, he is, these videos of these guys on here, if they're faking it, they're doing better jobs at 
The same thing with number three, the guy from Saudi Arabia. If they're faking the videos, they're doing 10 times better jobs at it than the people that are here in the U.S. Well, the Ghost of Carmel Maine is in the U.S. That guy, thumbs up to him. The uh, Saudi Arabia guy, double thumbs up for even... If it's if both of these are real, thumbs up for the guy in Carmel Maine for doing it, for sticking in the house and filming all this stuff. Saudi Arabia. The guy, I don't remember what his name is, but double thumbs up for this dude going towards the uh, paranormal shit. A bump in the house, he went to it to investigate. Unlike some of the people that have done videos here who get out the damn house like a bat out of hell when they hear a bump, like, oh, I gotta run, there's a ghost. And coffee talk. No. Your kid was reading from a script. I do believe in children speaking to ghosts because my daughter sees them and she speaks to them. My daughter has told me things that my cousin who who I've lost recently had was standing there with me after I felt something. Um. Now, and the silent witness? No. I believe that girl was already on the roof and... The people there may have not seen it because they were too focused on their graduation. You're not going to... A lot of people won't look up at the roof and won't see it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And don't forget, go to Nuke's page. Subscribe to his page. Show him some love for all the videos that he does. He puts in a lot of work. And... Uh, also, I have in my description, there's going to be a link for a new Facebook group that I created for this video page. Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you for watching. <laughs>